Welcome to the University of Hartford. I'm Chef Adam. Today we're going to make a poached gefilte fish and vegetable terrine. I have here defrosted a frozen log of gefilte fish that is defrosted. I'm going to lay it out on a piece of plastic and foil to be flat with water to keep my hands from sticking to the fish. Then we're going to place some assorted vegetables. I have sweet potato, green bean, scallion, and red pepper that I'll be putting in this today. Gently, I'm going to roll the gefilte fish around the vegetable, tucking it in, and removing the plastic so that when I'm done, the fish is a, a whole piece without the plastic inside, obviously. I'm going to roll this log along to tighten the ends, and then I'm going to wrap it in foil. The log is going to go into a pot of fish stock. It's got peppercorns, bay leaf, carrots, onions, and celery. And it's going to cook for about an hour. Our sauce for the gefilte fish is a horseradish dill sauce. I've got a quarter cup of mayonnaise, a teaspoon and a half, I'm sorry, of fresh dill, a tablespoon of grated horseradish dry, and a little lime juice, about a teaspoon or so. And that'll be our topping. So here we have the one that I prepared earlier. And you can clearly see how lovely it looks with the vegetables inside. Got a little bit of our horseradish dill sauce along the side. And here we, are, here we go, our poached gefilte fish and vegetable terrine, kosher for Passover with a horseradish dill sauce. Hi everyone, it's Chef Ben at the University of Hartford. Today I wanted to share with you a very seasonal, kosher, and gluten-friendly uh, recipe. It's wild mushroom soup. Um, very, very simple. Mushrooms are completely in season right now. If you're into foraging like I am, um, they're starting to pop everywhere. So here we have a mix of cremini, which are a baby portabella. We have oysters, and we have shiitakes. Um, we're gonna add smart balance, or earth balance, margarine to our pot. Every time you cook, make sure your pan is hot. You're gonna get the best flavor um, and the best cooking when that pan is, is ready to go. We're gonna get our aromatics. We have some, uh, just some regular yellow onion, a couple of cloves, chopped garlic. After a minute or so, we can add our mushrooms. Um, I'm gonna add about half of these. And these are going to saute for about two or three minutes. So now we're going to hit this with our wine. And that is the sound that you want to hear. We have some rice milk also that we're going to add. This is just going to add a little bit of creaminess without adding all the calories. As you can see, it's starting to look like a cream soup. And now from here, we're going to sprinkle in a little bit of flour. Make sure you don't dump it all in, just lightly sprinkle it over the top so it doesn't form clumps. And we're gonna mix that in. That'll bind with the, uh, the fat from the Smart Balance margarine and create a nice thickness. So we're gonna add some really flavorful vegetable broth. I'd say a couple cups, this is a quart, so about half. And then the secret ingredient in this whole thing is my favorite herb. Fresh thyme um, really adds that really nice herbaceous flowery flavor to your, to your soups. Salt and pepper. And there you go. Wonderful, hearty, seasonal, vegan, kosher, wild mushroom soup in about 10 minutes. Today we have a crispy seared salmon with whipped potatoes and glazed baby carrots. And right now um, we're going to start. I have some yellow potatoes that have been uh, simmering in lightly salted water for about 30 minutes. And we're going to start on our carrots. The same deal. We're going to take um, some simmering water. We're going to add a little bit of salt. This will internally season the carrots. These are beautiful heirloom local top on baby carrots lightly peeled and we're going to blanch them to soften them up. 
So these are gonna blanch for about five minutes. While that's going on, we're going to make our sauce. It's gonna be a chermula sauce, which is a North African sauce. It's a, it's a condiment that's used very, very frequently in their cuisine. And it's basically everything blended together for this amazing flavor. Um, and this will get spooled right over the salmon. So we have some cilantro, some fresh green parsley that we had washed. We're gonna cut up about a half a cup of this together. Cilantro parsley. We have some Spanish smoked paprika. Has a really, really nice flavor. We have cumin. We have some crushed red pepper for some heat. We have some ground coriander, which is actually the seed of the cilantro plant. We have some turmeric. We have capers. Chopped ginger, fresh ginger. Make sure it's fresh. A couple, few cloves of garlic. Some pitted Kalamata olives. About three ounces of chopped onion. We have some water to thin out the mixture a little bit. We're gonna do the juice of two lemons. Hold your hand under the lemon when you squeeze. The seeds are really bitter. You don't want those going into your dish. We're gonna start blending this. So as you can see, it's really thickened up nice. We're gonna take these out and we're gonna put them in some uh, ice water just to stop the cooking process. We wanna be able to control the cooking process, so that's why we're stopping it right now. Sharp knife right through the middle of the thickest potato. If it slides in easily in and out, you are good to go. All right, so our potatoes are drained and they're in our mixing bowl. We're gonna add some uh, Smart Balance vegan margarine. We're gonna add a little bit of rice milk. Some kosher salt. Always freshly ground by pepper. All right, so as soon as you see those lumps beat away, we will call this good. All right, so we just made our potatoes. Our carrots here have chilled properly. We're just gonna put those into a separate vessel to drain and get some of that water and ice off. So here we have a nice farm-raised Atlantic salmon. This is about a 14 ounce piece. As you notice, the skin is on. It's been descaled. We're gonna trim a little bit of the fat off of this belly. And we're gonna make two equal pieces. So about seven ounces a piece. Put these skin side down. Normally with fish, you would use the presentation side down first, but because the skin is our presentation, we're gonna put that side down first. While that's happening, we can get our carrots going. A little bit more of the Smart Balance butter. All right, so these are gonna start to brown. They're gonna absorb some of that flavor, the margarine. We're gonna season it lightly. We already boiled them in some salted water, but we're gonna add a little bit more. Nice freshly ground black pepper. While we're doing that, we'll season this side of the salmon. But today we're gonna use agave nectar, which is really, really great and healthy. Very low glycemic. We're gonna add our agave syrup. You can see that it's starting to cook up the side of the salmon. So as you can see, that skin is almost turned to glass. Very, 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 very hard. So I'm gonna say probably about four minutes on one side and then about three minutes on the other side and that's gonna give you about a medium, medium well piece of salmon. So our salmon has finished cooking. I'm gonna turn off the heat for that. We have our wonderful mashed potatoes. Just a little swirl. It's gonna go right across the top like this. Cut scallions to add some freshness. And there you go. Crispy skin salmon, chamula sauce, blaze maybe carrots, and whipped potatoes. Today I'll be making macaroons 
with a secret ingredient. We're using Harosin in our macaroons today. So we're gonna start with a cup of egg whites and two cups of sugar and whip it up to start our macaroons. When this gets hot enough, we're gonna bring this all together. When our egg whites and sugar come up to temperature, we're gonna transfer them to the mixing machine to get these egg whites nice and fluffy. Whisk them for about five minutes. We're gonna change to the paddle, our coconut, our haroset, potato starch, salt, lemon zest, orange zest, and vanilla. In my experience, people who don't like coconut like these macaroons, and people who don't like macaroons like these macaroons. And we're gonna scoop macaroons onto the platter, onto the tray. This recipe will make about 36 macaroons. They're gonna bake at 350 for about 10 minutes until they're nice and golden on the outside. And this is what they're gonna look like when they come out of the oven. Here you go with your chocolate dipped Carosa macaroon. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for other videos coming out on U-Heart Dining.